Hello, hello. So I'm using this sort of software mixer <clears throat> called Voice Media Potato. And um, yeah, this is a nice software, but uh, it had some issues before and it wasn't really rela related to this software. It's actually Windows, but I was getting some cracking noise or crackling noise now and then and the only solution were to go to the menu and the restart the audio engine and uh, but the problem is the cracking noise or crack crackling noise were coming back after a couple of minutes and I had to restart the engine again and it was kind of annoying so and this is not a specific potato thing it's um, all the voice meter versions had this issue and one solution were go was to go into the system settings here options and then to change the buffer size on these and increase them uh, another supposed to be a solution and that was going to have um, the same sample rate on every device Every device should have the same sample rate. Uh, none of these solutions worked for me. I still had a crackling noise. Uh, one solution though that actually worked for me was uh, going to the task manager. And I am on Windows 11 Pro here. And I right click on the taskbar and select the task manager. And up, up here in this uh, row here, I right click and also enable the process name sort of thing here. And over here, you should have sorting it by name. And you should have a sort of uh, service here called Windows Audio Device Graph Isolation or audio DG. And this is actually the problem with the crackling noise. And what you do here is that you just right click on it and you select go to details. And you get this view. And over here you got the audio DG.exe. Right click on it and select um, set affinity. And by default, when the computer start, um, all processors are selected. And that's the problem uh, when using all of the cores and threads. So what you do is that you have to deselect all the processors and uh, just select one of them. I select CPU2. Um, and that's a real core. Um, real process core. It's, it doesn't like to be a, an efficient core. It needs to kind of be a performance core. So I always select CPU2. Uh, and that fixed the problem. Uh, I don't have any crackling noise anymore. Um, the problem with this is that it, this is a reset every time you start your computer or restart or reboot or whatever. So um, yeah, it's kind of annoying to go in here every time to set this. So uh, I got actually a little software um, called uh, Process Lasso. Uh, looks a bit complicated, and sometimes you can you have the all. Pro you should look at the middle window here, and you have two tabs active. Uh, processes sometimes it shows up here but not always uh, so I just have all processes here and you can see that I sort by name oops like that and you got the audio DG over here and you right click on it and also set CPU priority and always, and then I select high. And then I go to C CPU affinity, always, 
I set it to number two. So you first sort of uh, deselect everything and then you select the CPU that you want. And this software will automatically start when your computer starts. So it will be sort of a background service and it will always set this audio DG as uh, sort of with CPU core number two. So it will auto, auto set the affinity. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so yeah. Now I don't have any crackling noise and I don't have to restart the audio engine anymore. So that's really nice. And the websites, well, this is the software that I use, the mixer. You go down, scroll down here and you allow, download the exe file, the install. Um, I also have some virtual audio cables. Uh, you get one free virtual cable download. And if you scroll down, if you want some more, uh, you got this additional virtual cables, A, B, C, and D. And this actually cost money. Uh, it's not that much, but uh, it's a one-time price and they are yours. So yeah, it's worth having. So that's the software, the Lasso. Uh, it's on the Bitsum uh, website. I put the links in the video description to here. And you, this software is free, uh, the free version. Um, the problem with the free version is that every time you start your computer, you will get the message popping up saying, well, you're using a free version, consider buying pro. Super annoying. So I actually paid for this. Uh, it's a one-time fee. It's a lifetime fee, no, uh, no subscription or anything, just a one-time purchase. So yeah. But you can, of course, if you can stand the pop-up windows, uh, every time you start your computer, you, you can use this software for free. So yeah, I put the links in the video description. So yeah, that was that. Catch you later.